There we go. My first Titan burn. What's up, candy fam? It's Nate here, talking candy, and I am going to live record to post later this burn week challenge number two. And the queue is supposed to already go live. It's 1250 Eastern right now. So it's supposed to go live at 1250. Doesn't seem to be here yet, but should be here any minute. And then the actual burn should go live at one o'clock. So gonna record it, try and uh, create a little tutorial here on what this process actually looks like since I didn't have a chance to do it last week, but I do have Buxton and Mancini with stacks this week to burn. Looks like some people in Discord are already in the queue, which is frustrating because as you can see, I do not have the ability to get in there yet. It's now 1251. Some people said they got in at 1248. All right, I just cleared my cache with the suggestion of somebody in Discord and it did work to get me into the queue. That's super frustrating. I've been sitting here for five minutes and a bunch of people in the queue ahead of me because I hadn't cleared my cache. That shouldn't be a thing. But what are you gonna do? Part of the learning process, part of why I'm recording this. So word to the wise, clear your cache before trying to enter the queue. So I'm also watching the floors of some of the guys that I'm not burning. Like I've got, I've got epics of Mondesi and Mancini. I'm actually, I'm burning Mancini, but I have two Mancini epics. So I'm gonna sell one today while the attention is on him. And I'm also going to burn a Titan. Other thing to remember is when you are burning your additional 49 points of guys that you, uh, guys that are not the guy that you're burning the Titan for, just the, the random 49, try to prioritize uh, the guys that have 2750 cores from any given lineup uh, that did not get Titans. So those cores are gonna be on the lowest floor because there's no utility with those. And then after that, I would shift to the guys in the rare tier and lower because they're obviously not getting Titans. Only reason I'd go with the 2750 first is because the supply is larger, less likely that there would be an event to to raise the floors on uh, something with double the, the mint count of the cores that only have 1500. So not a huge deal, but worth noting, worth knowing. All right, decided to mitigate a little bit here just sold my Trey Mancini for 38 bucks on the floor this is epic my Mondesi is sitting on the floor at 43 would expect that would sell probably pretty soon see what happens and I think it just sold yes it did all right so sold both of my epics about seven minutes into this process um, at about double where their floors were when the Titans were announced. So we'll, uh, we'll keep tracking that and see where they end up. Got all these listed on the floor as well. And then I've got just enough Buxton and Mancini to, to burn now. Like I said, gonna do Buxton first here. Oh, and we're in. Let's jump right in here. So you can see all five available and active, but only two that I'm done with. So I'm gonna jump into Buxton here. And as you can see, I've got my 52 out of 51 plus plenty to go. And so I jump in here and gonna select one, two, three, four, five. Gets me my 52 out of 51 points. Now we gotta get 49 down here and I have Prepared what that's gonna be. All right, so we go. Try to start no. Hap. Grandal. School. Like I said, these are all guys that are in that epic, epic tier but didn't get Titans.
this process is a little bit clunky, uh, but I don't exactly know what I would recommend to change here. Like, I don't feel like I'm at risk of not getting a, a, uh, a Titan here. So I'm just taking my time getting the right guys, but I feel like if you're going for, say, Trout, that this would be a stressful process. Need six more points here. Got my Eflin and Senzel. There we go, 51 points. Buxton, 52 out of 51. Here we got 51 out of 49. I don't know, I'm over a little bit, but I'm gonna not micromanage it here. And let's see what we got. There we go. My first Titan burn. Cool animation. Now the owner of a Titan, one of the highest rarity players. So my Buxton is done. Now I'm gonna go back to challenges. We'll show this animation one more time. All right, so back to challenges to get my Mancini. Scroll down here so you can see I'm not, not capable of getting bucks in anymore. It just shows, well, I guess that maybe this is showing the, the right amount here. Last week it was just a blatant, or like a blanket 50% it looked like. So let's go into Mancini. That didn't work. Let's try again. Back to the front. We're here. Slow to load. Obviously a ton of traffic happening right now. All right, so we're, we're good. Gives me the cue. Good to go. Jump into Mancini here. Already sold my Epic, so I know I'm good to just check off everything that I got here. I know I've got my 51. There we go, 51. Next. Oh, didn't, okay, cool. So now I didn't do my due diligence on this, so wasn't expecting to have more than one today. So we're gonna take the easy route here and just jump into lineup one guys that are rare tier and worse, so. Probably gonna make a mistake or two here on floor prices, but again, I'm not gonna overthink it. I know that I know that my general premise is correct, so even if some of these guys aren't on the literal floor, it should be okay overall. And honestly, I would be documenting, because I'm totally nerd with this stuff, I'd be documenting who I'm burning here as I do it. Fortunately, since I'm recording this all, uh, I'll be able to just reference back to it. But I would recommend keeping track of who you've got, or who you're burning. But that's just me. Actually, you know what, we'll keep, we'll keep my socks. Almost there. One, two. Actually, I only need 49, so this is... I'm not really, uh... I need to do better math here, but again, not going to sweat it. We've got our 51. I'm going to get this better on the next time. Make sure I'm not burning one extra card, but <laughs> again, shows you what you're burning and then shows you what you're burning. Confirm and burn. Yes, let's burn. And we've got it again. Trey Mancini turning into a Titan. So my first two Titan burns in one day, honestly, super smooth process, a little frustrating that I needed to, to clear my cash to actually get into the queue, but once I did that, it happened very quickly and got through the queue. Again, doesn't feel like even, you know, we saw Wander last week and even at that, he seemed to, uh, to be available for anybody that was on the ball at one o'clock. So let's go back here. Back to challenges. Again, everything's a little slow to load. So back to my collection, back to Let's Burn. So now we've got three active. Interesting. Looks like some of these, so some of these happened very quick. So, okay. Miguel Cabrera and Trey Turner already, already minted out. So that's pretty wild. It's only been 18 minutes and those both already minted out, which leaves us with Trey Mancini and Buxton. So as I'm talking about having time, those two are already gone. So you can see my two incoming rewards here with Buxton and Mancini. You can see the active challenges remaining with uh, Buxton, Mondesi, and Mancini. And you can see 
past challenges, the five guys from last week, as well as Trey Turner and Miguel Cabrera. Those both happened super quick. So, you know, in the end, it looks like I'm going to miss out on selling my Miguel Cabrera's. It looks like one of my, uh, no, nothing sold there. So sold my Trey Turner for a little under, but now that he's gone in terms of the challenge, uh, the ability to sell him is gone because the liquidity is gone as soon as that, that mint is complete. So this is something to keep track of. Also appreciate the fact that they took the advice of the community and you can see which guys are, are still active here, even though, uh, oh, even though you haven't waited through the queue. Last week, you had to get through the queue to see what was active. Although I'm curious if we can see the mint number. Let's try and get in here and see what it does. So, okay, so yeah, it looks like they did improve that process too. I can get right in here and see that there are 19 bucks in left out of 100. So 81 have been minted already. A little bit surprising. Would have thought that he would have gone super quickly as well. Obviously, he's going to be done in the first hour here, but not as quickly as, as some of the others. Let's see what we got here with Mancini. Eleven left on Mancini, so Buxton actually behind Mancini at this point. And now, for reference, it's 1:20 p.m. Eastern. A little error there. 1:20 p.m. Eastern, and we're close to minting out on everything. Let's check the last one here. Mondesi, guessing he's in last place. Although you never know, because he was very cheap, so that can be appealing to people. So yeah, 39 left on Mondesi. Not quite as as appealing a burn. He's hurt, he's injured, hurt for the rest of the year. Whereas the rest of these guys are playing. So um, let's wait and see. Interesting. So it just after allowing me to see all that, it just kicked me into a 16 minute queue. Not exactly sure what happened there. Not sure why I was allowed to to go and click through all those guys and see the remaining Titans. And now it's kicking me into a 16 minute. Not sure if it's, I guess I just clicked. Let's see what happens if I X out of that, go to let, yeah. So not sure what the rhyme or reason was on that. That'll be interesting to find out. I was able to click into to several guys. I don't know if my, my initial queue lasted X amount of time to be in there. And that allowed me to quickly get through bucks in and Mancini and check all those guys, but now it's pushed me back to the front. Uh, but at this point, it looks like I'm not able to to do anything with that. So failed to sell about you know $25 worth of Miguel Cabrera cards here right now. Not not too upset about sitting on some Miggy. If there was going to be a guy I'm still holding, he'd be the one. But was able to take some profit on the guys that I wasn't burning, as well as uh, get get the two burns that I was hoping to get. Looks like my 15 minute queue has quickly dropped down to six minutes and I've only been in this queue for two minutes. So I'm just gonna sit in this and see what is left by the time I get there. See if everything's minted out. Ooh, my, my queue just went to a bad gateway. So we'll see what happens here. Let's see if it kicks me. All right, so it got me all the way in. Looks like uh, Mancini's done. Buxton and Mondesi still active. That's the process. It'll be interesting to see how that queue works, try and get some, some information on that uh, and talk about it in the weekly update when recording tomorrow night to release on Wednesday. But uh, yeah, this, is, this was meant to be a, a tutorial, a walkthrough on the Titan burning process. I hope it was helpful for anybody that hasn't done it yet. You can now see what that looks like. I wish that I was a little bit more prepared on which of my 49 points I was going to burn. Learned a couple things about that. You know, it is easy to search for the cards that you want to burn if you prepare for it in advance. So I thought that, that was a pretty fluid process. That was pretty seamless. I didn't, didn't really run into any issues while I was actually in the minting process. A couple minor, minor things there with clearing the cache and uh, with, with that queue resetting after being able to, to go into each guy. But overall, smooth process. Looking forward to getting my, my first two incoming Titans. 
And uh, yeah, my name is Nate. This is Talking Candy, and we will see you in the next one.